when we found out he was in kindergarten and it was very scary. I mean, it was like a bomb went off in the house. I mean, it feels like somebody just are, is drowning you and you feel like you're suffocating and you don't even know how you're gonna deal with it or come out of it or go on. Be reasonable. Come on. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. Accelerated approval for Duchenne. And if you guys want to learn more about Duchenne muscular dystrophy, click the link below. The advisory committee is a full day meeting that will occur and start at 8 a.m. advisory committee that was uh, uh, postponed. A any delay is, is harmful. We're here. We all gathered here. We're, we're parents. We're, we're all hardworking family here, trying to make our boys survive, looking for a possible way for them to live longer. We'll be back. We'll keep on fighting. We'll be here again. We'll be back. We don't really have a choice. This is our life, and you know, this is our son's life, and this is what we have to do. without question a profound unmet medical need in DMD. We have no approved treatments for this disease. We are highly sensitive to the urgency needed for the development of an approved treatment for Duchenne. The world's leading experts are here today telling us that what they're seeing is unusual. Our boys are changing in front of our eyes. 36 prominent scientists and physician experts in Duchenne provided the FDA with a letter clarifying issues raised. Much of the effort in evaluating a drug development program goes into avoiding a specific mistake, erroneously approving a drug that is not effective. There often is little consideration of another error, which is failing to approve a drug that actually works. Everyone has voted. The vote is now complete. We have three yes, seven no, three abstentions. I think if the leadership looks at all the data, looks at the performance of the FDA, looks at the performance of the outcome, looks at the totality of the data, the leadership ought not to be able to do anything else other than to sign off on accelerated approval of the drug. I mean, really, honestly, that's the answer. It doesn't look great, but there's a window. Shares of biopharma company Sarepta soaring in today's trade. That's after it said that the Food and Drug Administration is going to delay a review of one of its key drugs. The FDA has decided to delay making a decision regarding the fate of Ateplerson. So we're hopeful that the delay is not very long and that the decision is one of accelerated approval. We think any level of dystrophin, even in a subset of the samples, is sufficient to warrant accelerated approval in this uh, instance. This is good news, partly because it sets the stage for using dystrophin as a surrogate biomarker uh, for Duchenne. I will point out that 13 scientists and physicians expert in Duchenne uh, came to the open public hearing and all testified unanimously in favor of accelerated approval based on what they could read in the FDA briefing document, based on the uh, presentation by SREPTA, based on the criticism by the FDA, and taking the totality of their clinical experience or their scientific experience with all of that data. All of them felt that the drug deserved to have accelerated approval. At the FTA, there is a critic of Sarepta who is leaving. Does that yeah. mean its drug will I, win approval? I think that this is a sign, I believe, that the FDA is going to give them something. It's very good for Sarepta. I think it's very good for the parents. 
Carl, it's one of the most anticipated events of the year. Sarepta Therapeutics getting FDA approval for its Duchenne muscular dystrophy drug. Uh, the stock up 75% today on this surprise decision. So it's a great day today. Uh, Teplerson finally was granted accelerated approval for Duchenne. We woke up to that news and been an exciting thing resonating throughout the Duchenne community that indeed the FDA could look at all of the data and say that there was uh, sufficient scientific evidence to, that it was reasonably likely that dystrophin induction was going to improve Duchenne. And, and the finding that it was uh, approved based on dystrophin as a surrogate marker uh, is really good news because we can see dystrophin induced within weeks if not months of, of treatment whereas to see a clinical effect would take years. It's rewarding to see, although it's taken a long time, many months past the actual uh, PDUFA date to get this drug approved, it's rewarding to see the FDA, even with internal debate occurring within the FDA about how appropriate this is, to indeed grant accelerated approval through the agency. It's a big, big day for Duchenne. Now, there'll be a confirmatory trial. It's already ongoing. Presumably, there'll be maybe some other contingencies for full approval, but this path forward lets the most people have access to the drug and also lets us collect the most data for clinical efficacy. So it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. And the really good news is, I mean, a Tepleson only induces a little dystrophin, and even that little bit is associated with clinical gain. So this is the tip of an iceberg. You know, this is the first generation drug. Uh, second generation drugs promise to induce even more dystrophin. We have uh, tremendous thanks for the, for the company moving this drug forward, but also for the various advocacy and other parents who came forward to uh, provide a patient voice, to provide an advocacy voice at the advisory committee. And that did give the advisory committee and the FDA and the FDA's senior leadership knowledge about Duchenne, knowledge about what the community is willing to tolerate in terms of risks, but also knowledge about um, you know, how the drug may be benefiting boys. You know, this fight's been going on so long that the senior FDA officials can actually see how the boys are doing. <laughs> that's true uh, and so that's a unique situation. And uh, the families that stuck with it and showed up to show them how well their boys are doing. It's actually a precedent for precision health and precision medicine, where we know the exact mutation we have a related disease, and we can shift a boy from having no dystrophin to having some dystrophin with Duchenne is spectacular. I mean, this is really an amazing scientific story. It's an amazing personal story, and it's really rewarding to see it come through to fruition. Um, some at the FDA will still say they do not want to be lowering the bar for drug approvals, and that's perfectly appropriate. We do not agree with lowering the bar but we do want a scientific review process that's both robust and speedier than what we've, de what we've observed here for the FDA. And we want a more robust process. And an accelerated approval pathway allows uh, access of more patients to the drug. And so instead of making hard conclusions on 12 boys, we'll be making hard conclusions on hundreds of boys. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's uh, absolutely history making. I think the FDA needs to be able to figure out, particularly in the neurology division, how to deal with rare diseases, um, and there's thousands of rare diseases, with genetic causes, where genetic therapies will be coming forward. It's history making for Duchenne, it's history making for the rare disease community, and it's history making for RNA therapeutics. There's never been mm -hmm. an RNA therapeutic, and uh, this is a whole new field that stands to benefit, you know, fit a number of, of rare diseases potentially even some common ones. Absolutely. Congratulations. You guys all helped us make this happen. Yep. And we're so thankful to the community for stepping forward to, uh, to sort of amplify the voice of scientists and the data that was generated by the company. We're thankful to all the patients for participating in clinical trials at UCLA and elsewhere, and particularly for the 12 boys that have been on a difficult to, to join and participate in clinical trial for now over five years. Pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's a remarkable effort from the families and the scientists who took the time to come and stand up for the science they think is right to benefit the patient community is something we're all very grateful for.